Hello, we talk here. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's actually raining and it's really very, very, you can see the scenery is so beautiful. We have a beautiful, I mean, uh, streets, water, the lake here. Uh, okay, uh, hot water therapy and hot weather. People are so worried, thinking that uh, they cannot uh, use hot water. They cannot drink hot water when the weather is too hot. But the problem is that they did not understand. There is a side effect drinking cold water during the weather when it's hot or drinking ice water. The reason, when you drink cold water during hot weather, when the weather is hot, it actually causes vasodilation or dilation of blood veins. And when you take something cold, that fluctuation of the temperature, because the weather, for example, if it's too hot, like 30 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius, 45, and then you take something cold, which is about 5 degrees Celsius, that will contradict with the uh, with the uh, temperature of your body. Suddenly, to drop the temperature of your body, soaking the energy of your body, according to the laws of thermodynamics, like the first law of thermodynamics, and what it causes, it will cause vasoconstriction because anything that take anything cold taken in our body, it causes vasoconstriction, means constrict of the blood veins. Then suddenly, it will cause the raise of the temperature, and uh, will can cause uh, that's why people they immediately collapse when they take cold water or cold drink uh, ice water during the weather when it's hot. So enjoy your hot water therapy, uh, whether the weather is hot, it's a problem of the weather when the weather is too hot, but whether the weather is too cold or it's too hot, your body has its own mechanism to maintain the equilibrium of the temperature, which is about 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius. So with that, you need to maintain hot water therapy and uh, whether the weather is cold or hot, but when the weather is hot, when you take the glass of hot water and you take another one or a mug of hot water, then what will happen here? It will cause vasodilation or dilation of the, the blood veins through thermogenesis that heat induces in your body through the laws of thermodynamics. Then, uh, because of that vasodilation, it's a way that uh, uh, the body excretes the excessive heat through sweating and so on. So heat is not remaining in your body. Excessive heat is uh, removed and through vasodilation. Whereas through vasoconstriction, it constricts the heat in your body and the weather is hot, then that contradicts. So enjoy your hot water therapy, whether the weather is too hot or it's too cold. I wish you a healthy life. Thank you. Bye.